This is Brian with Fearless, and I want to talk with you today about um, about something we call perfectly imperfect. In Fearless, we have a lot of philosophies that we study, and these philosophies are philosophies of, of, of really successful people, some of the most successful people in the world. The idea behind these philosophies is that as you really start to embody these philosophies and master them in your life, success comes much quicker. One of the ones I want to talk about is one called Perfectly Imperfect. This philosophy is a powerful philosophy. I think it's one of the most important ones because it's all about the victim mentality. It's this idea that a lot of us think we're victims. We think uh, that the world's doing something to us, that our parents did something to us, that you know, this person screwed me over and I'm like that because of this, that, or the other. Where there may be some truth to the fact that you grew up in certain circumstances that you couldn't control, there's also a lot of truth to the fact that you're an adult now, if you're watching this, most likely. That you're conscious enough and old enough now to start making your own decisions. To start changing your own life and moving it in the direction that you want to go. If you're creating your own reality, which I like to believe I am. I like to believe that everything I have right now is a product of me changing who I am inside. And I don't believe, I believe in other words that I'm a victim, that something outside me controls me. And how am I ever supposed to really change my own reality? Because on some level, I don't believe that. I actually think that's bullshit, or I wouldn't say that. It's time for you to drop that whole mentality. I used to come from poverty. I came from a, a very po uh, impoverished mindset. I also came from a lot of illnesses. I had a lot of illnesses in my family. I had to face all that. And in that was a lot of victim consciousness for me and a lot of pain. I also used to beat myself up a lot. I used to think, oh, the more I beat myself up, the more I motivated myself. And I run into a lot of clients with that mentality too. And I want to offer up to you, that's just another form of the victim mentality. You're running out there saying, no, I'm hard on myself, so I'll keep going. Now you're hard on yourself because you don't like yourself. When you get underneath that part of you that's just beating yourself up for every failure, like I ask you, let's say I asked you to approach a woman and you beat yourself up because it didn't go the way you wanted, then that part of yourself that's beating yourself up is doing it because deep down inside there's a deeper root emotional cause. Some part of yourself that probably doesn't like yourself, it's really judging yourself and that's the part you need to get to underneath the top layer. And down in there, you'll find the real gold. Because when you get through that, you're going to start to find a whole different world. People that are really successful, I find, that are successful and at least happy, don't beat themselves up all the way to the top. They have fun. Matter of fact, every failure is an opportunity for growth. Every failure is another great story. Every failure leads them to the next success. Matter of fact, they know that you've got to have a lot of failures on your way to success. Edison failed 10,000 times at creating the light bulb. 0.0001% successful at the time of creating the light bulb, yet we've got light bulbs in every house. How about the space shuttle? It's off course, I think I heard 90 some percent of the time, 97% of the time on the way, way to the moon. And yet it still gets there. Almost anything you can think of you have to fail a bunch of times before you succeed. Take Michael Jordan. I mean, he was told he was a horrible basketball player and to give up the sport by his uh, high school basketball coach, yet he became one of the greatest basketball players in the world, if not the greatest, arguably. So where are you really beating yourself up and thinking it's helping? Because the truth is, if you want to create what you want, the happier you become, even in your failures in relation to creating what you want, the more joy you have, even in the midst of your failures, the faster it's coming. Because every failure leads you where you need to go to get to the next level. Every failure is teaching you something. Every failure is the opportunity to grow and to learn. If you can learn from those failures, have fun with those failures, you'll learn that much faster, you'll grow that much faster, and therefore you'll get to your success that much faster. A failure might put you in contact with just the right person you need to talk to to make something happen, or just the right lesson. I've had a lot of failures in my life, and honestly, when I look back, if it wasn't for all those failures, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. My life is great right now. I love it. It gets better and better every day, every week, every year. More fun, more uh, memories, more adventures, better friends, better life, basically better everything. And that's because I've learned to really accept every failure. Matter of fact, I know every failure is gonna lead to another success eventually. So I wanna invite you to really celebrate all your glorious failures. That was something Mark Allen once said in a training program I had with him many years ago. Uh, Mark Allen's a famous author, and he said a friend of his had told him that we should have a birthday every year for all our glorious failures. Learn to celebrate them. And Mark Allen's another example of a great man who came from nothing 
and became a multimillionaire. Started with absolutely nothing at 30 years old and is worth a fortune today. And he built it with ease and grace in a relaxed way. Not forcing, not pushing, not beating himself up, not attacking himself, but having fun along the process. And when you do that, you're gonna find that life is a lot easier than you realize. You don't have to shove and push and jump and scream and yell your affirmations into your body. You do need to change your mindset. You do need to change the way you look at life. You do need to develop passion. But as you do that, everything will change naturally. I'll see you in the next video. Get out there and fail your way to the top. I used to obsess over these goals, like how am I gonna have a good life if I don't have good money? Or how am I gonna have a good life if I don't accomplish X goal or Y goal? But the problem with that is that the goals never end. Part of our evolution is to learn to manage the greater capacity of information and teach our subconscious to sort for what we want out of it.